Under California law, employers have an independent obligation to investigate all complaints of unlawful harassment or unlawful discrimination at workplace, regardless of how the employer feels about those complaints and regardless of whether the employer actually believes that those complaints are true or credible. Now, why is it important to make sure for you as an employer, why is it important to make sure that your investigations are conducted properly and correctly? The reason is very simple. The reason is because when the accuser, when the alleged victim of harassment or discrimination brings a case against the employer in court, the lawyer who represents that victim, he will often try to attack the investigation, showing that it wasn't conducted properly and correctly when the employer could and should have known how to do it right. They chose not to do it, and therefore the employer is the bad guy and they should be punished by the judge and by the jury with a big verdict and so forth. So, let's talk now about the two fundamental principles that every proper investigation should factor in. The first principle is that the investigation that you conduct as an employer should be fair and impartial. And the way to do it is very simple. You have to make sure that you hire an outside person, an outside investigator to conduct an investigation so that no one can later say that whoever conducted an investigation had a bias in favor or against one party or the other. You don't want to hire a manager within your company, especially if that manager knows favorably or unfavorably the accused or the accuser. There are so many companies out there that offer these investigation services, and if you just hire one of those outside investigators, it might cost you a little bit more than using someone from within the, co from within the company who is already being paid for being in the office. It might cost you a bit more, but it's going to be way better than hiring someone who might inherently be labeled as biased. The second fundamental principle of a proper investigation is making sure that all the relevant witnesses are being interviewed. Unfortunately, all too often employers have a certain outcome that they would like to see in those types of investigations. So let's say you have an employer who wants the accused to be found to be responsible for harassment and discrimination because they want to get rid of that person. And then they come to the investigator and they say, we only want you to interview this, this, and this witness, but not those two or three other witnesses. You don't want to do that because it hurts the fairness of that investigation. And it opens you up to all kinds of other claims, such as defamation claims by the, um, by the accused. So you want to give your outside investigator a total freedom and discretion to interview all witnesses who have relevant information. So the first thing that a good investigator will do, or one of the first things is, when they talk to both sides, they're going to ask, can you give me names of all the witnesses who witnessed any relevant um, events that either, uh, you know, help the accused by showing that maybe he didn't do what the accuser says or support the accuser's side of the story. This is the best way to make sure that the investigation is balanced, fair, and impartial. So keep these two fundamental principles in mind when conducting investigations of harassment and discrimination, and it will protect you from future accusations that you didn't do what you were supposed to do when it comes to those types of investigations. Thank you.